Hi, I'm Stan. Hi, Mom. Are you thinking about flying somewhere for a vacation? Well, now, due to the current state of the industry, you can get great vacation bargains when you book through Stan's Travel, run by me, Stan. Hi, Stan. A short time ago, an Air Canada flight from Toronto to Hawaii could cost up to $2,000. Book that same flight through Stan's Travel and the price? $17. (laughs) Flying Vancouver to Tokyo? $22. (laughs) Montreal to Barbados? I'll send you on Air Canada's Pay what you can, flight. (laughs) You're probably saying, but Stan, how can airlines offer flights so cheap? Stan, how can airlines offer flights so cheap? Simple, they're screwed. (laughs) The whole travel industry's in trouble, so they're offering some great bargains. Before, a stay at the Ritz in Paris could cost $3,000 a night. The price from Stan's travel? Six bucks a week. And that includes a five-course dinner with the president of France. (laughs) Feel like an all-inclusive vacation to South America? Then stay at Club Stan Rio. $18 includes airfare, room, all meals, bar service, scuba diving, hang gliding, and complimentary penicillin. (laughs) And hey, single guys, not only do you get maid service, you also get the maid. (laughs) There's more than a chocolate laying on your pillow every night. Still not sure it's safe for air travel? For $14, Stan's Travel can book you a very special Calgary-Toronto flight. It drives along the Trans-Canada Highway. (laughs) Stan's Travel, there's never been a better time to fly. So book your vacation flight today and allow three days for security (laughs) check-in. This is CTV News Nuts. Now with business, Linda Skunkhead Sims. The Canadian economy has been described as pernicious, deleterious, fulsome, malefic, and execrable. In other words, it really sucks. The big news this week, the Bank of Canada dropped interest rates to record lows. Investors could be able to take advantage of the situation if they hadn't already lost all their money in Nortel. And joining me today is financial expert Monica Murphy at the stock market. Linda. I'm not actually at the stock market, I'm at the supermarket. Monica, the Canadian dollar continues to struggle. Yes, but there is good news, Linda. On world markets today, the Canadian dollar rallied and now has a value. (laughs) The retail sector is down. Indeed it is, Linda, but most of that can be attributed to the fact that nobody is buying anything. Monica, with the interest rates being so low, do you see the situation improving for the Christmas season? Not unless more people start to buy stuff. You see, Linda... My God! What's that thing on your head? Oh, this? Oh, it's my hairstyle. Touch of gray to give me that distinguished look of experience. It looks like something died on your head! Whoa! I'd call the animal shelter if I were you. I wouldn't know whether to comb it or feed it grubs. That thing doesn't need a hat. It needs a cage. Do you give it a perm or rabies shots? I mean, yikes. I wouldn't get me upset if I were you. Why? What happens? on the economy, shall we? Yeah, fine with me. Let's uh, focus on the hair. Economy. Now, what segment of our economy do you see making the greatest returns in the short term? Cigarettes. Cigarettes? You mean the tobacco industry? No, smuggling. With the price of smokes today, smugglers are going to make a fortune. Monica, where should investors be putting their money? If I had a nickel for every time I get asked that dumb question... <laughs> question. Well, Monica, where are you putting your money? Where most people put it. GICs. Groceries. For the Business Report, I'm Linda Sims. Thank you, Monica. Oh, my pleasure, skunkhead. I mean, Linda... Now 
to Mansbridge with Peter Mansbridge. Good evening, and welcome to a very special edition of Man to Mansbridge. I'm about to talk with Osama bin Laden's right-hand man. He joins me now on Man to Mansbridge. Hello, Mr. Um... <laughs> no names. I am here incognito. I do not wish people to know my name. You were close to Osama bin Laden. Yes, we were, we were close, very close. In fact, we were so close, sometimes I thought we were married. Well, what exactly? Oh, don't ask. <laughs> what would you say is bin Laden's biggest asset? Warm hands. <laughs> when you are in my position, warm hands are very important. People have the wrong idea about Osama bin Laden. Then he's not a bloodthirsty fanatic who's lost touch with the real world. Oh. I guess people do have the right idea. <laughs> Well, do you know where Bin Laden is at this moment? Last time I saw him, he was in Kabul, standing in line to see Harry Potter. <laughs> As Osama's right-hand man, how much influence did you have on Taliban policies? I had no influence at all, none at all. Why is that? Because you can't Taliban nothing. <laughs> Get it? Can't Taliban nothing? <laughs> Oh, it got a big laugh at the Terrorist of the Year Awards. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. That's, that's it. I, I can't continue this. I'm a serious journalist, and I'm interviewing Mohammed the Saw. I told you, no names. <laughs> and that's it for Man to Man's Grave. This is Headline News. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Jack Baxter. I'm Christine Van Beesbrook, and this is Headline News. Our top headline. <laughs> Air Canada loses $600 billion, blames increased cost of little bags of pretzels. President George Bush says no clones. He prefers his ice cream in a dish. Paul Martin prepares new budget. Working title, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. U.S. lands more than 1,000 Marines in Afghanistan. Join more than 2,000 CNN journalists. Sleeping sickness sweeps Winnipeg. NDP holds convention. Elsewhere, $24 billion in retail sales predicted for Christmas. $23.9 billion in Harry Potter merchandise. Tragedy today for Jenny Craig. Weight loss guru eaten by hungry customers. President orders Americans to get back to life as normal. Crime rates rise drastically. Russian mafia devises method to rob ATM customers. Banks impressed. This just in. <laughs> it wasn't that important anyway. In entertainment. Fans flock to record stores to buy new Mick Jagger CD. <laughs> Elsewhere, Stockwell Day. In other news, <laughs> new American-style franchise opens in Afghanistan, Burka King. Science report. Asteroid could end most life on Earth. Only survivors, cockroaches, and reality shows. Ontario Conservative leadership campaign heats up. Chris Stockwell is a candidate. Elizabeth Whitmer is a candidate. Ernie Eves is a candidate. Tony Clement is a candidate. Jim Flaherty is a candidate. And, and nobody, nobody cares. cares. And that's Headline News. I'm Jack Baxter. And I'm Christine Van Beesbrook for Headline News. And I'm here. Two heads are better than one. Mesdames et messieurs of the media, bonjour. Or to my English friends, <laughs> there is still controversy surrounding my statements comparing September 11th to the situation in Quebec. The controversy refuses to go away, much like English-speaking Quebecers. <laughs> I was simply saying that like Afghanistan, Quebec is a unique, albeit sovereign nation. I think they're buying it. 
Let us look at the facts. A poll released earlier today shows the number of Quebecers who want sovereignty is 14%. <laughs> Well, forget the facts. <laughs> Just remember, Quebec and Afghanistan are quite different. At this time, I would like to take the opportunity to announce a few minor changes. From this day forth, the PQ will be called the TQ. The Taliban Quebecois. <laughs> Why am I making this change? Because I'm crazy. <laughs> That's right. I am Nazi cuckoo, whacked out of my mind, fruit loops. <laughs> Nazi Relmont, I will continue as leader. But henceforth be known as Bernard Bin Landry. <laughs> Instead of a $600,000 apartment in Quebec City, my principal residence will be a cave in Chicoutimi. <laughs> Mark my words, today is the start of a new era merveilleur for the province of Quebecistan. <laughs> there will be growing prosperities in our major cities like Jalalahul and Montrealabad. <laughs> in addition, the official provincial mode of transportation is now the camel. <laughs> This idea has already been embraced by some Quebec celebrities. <laughs> As leader of the Taliban Quebecois, I am also introducing the mandatory wearing of burqas. I have yet to decide what the women will wear. <laughs> and that is all for now. Some of you may say my kind of politics is totally crazy. <laughs> In Quebec, that is business as usual. <laughs>
Wow, it really works. Hey, save some of that nailing for the bedroom later. <laughs> <laughs> Look, another bowling ball on the floor. Gee, I wish I had a vacuum that could pick up all those annoying bowling balls. Well, now you can with Mr. Kraft, Big Sucker. Wow, fake husband. How does it work? Well, you just flip the Big Sucker on. Look. And the sucking power takes over. Good for plaster dust, crumbs, dead rats, you name it. You can even use it for breast augmentation. Wild animals causing needless property damage? How about the Mr. Craft Squirrel Zapper? We can use that when your loser brother visits. <laughs> You're really getting on my nerves. You already have the Mr. Craft Leaf Blower. But now for those of you who have dogs running around in your backyard... And who doesn't? You need... The Mr. Craft shit disturber. <laughs> Perfect for the spring when the snow finally melts. It'll blow that mess right into your neighbor's yard. <laughs> <laughs> Another new innovative product is the Mr. Craft Palm Pilot. Hi, I can fly a plane, although it has to be a very small plane. <laughs> Christmas is just around the corner. I'm asking for Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> and what better way to decorate the tree than with? Exploding budgies. You sneak up quietly and scare the budgies. Like so. Boop. It's fun for the whole family. And it's completely safe. Unless you're a budgie. <laughs> <laughs> These are some of the many great Mr. Craft products available at Canadian Tire. Want to go to the bedroom and fool around with the vacuum? Not in this lifetime. <laughs>
44. And I believe during this festive season, we should all show our love by going deep into debt. I'm Ashley, I'm 17, and I believe body piercing is a great way to celebrate the holidays. <laughs> I am René, I am 52, and I believe penguins are evil and stealing my credit cards. I'm Mildred, I'm 97, and I believe elves make the best lovers. I'm Cher, I'm six, and I believe it's okay to kiss Grandma under the mistletoe. Just don't let her slip you the tongue. I'm Linda, I'm 42. And I believe aliens are using mind control to make household pets unplug the vacuum. I am Zoltan, the Conqueror. I'm 54. And I believe large fruitcakes can be used to defeat terrorism. Warm season's greetings from the manufacturers of Prozac, making your world seem almost normal. Very worried about all this recession talk. Very worried. We could be headed for a depression. And the doctor won't renew my prescription. <laughs> our entire economy could be at risk. Nobody will buy our deluxe crawlers. We could be facing inflation, devalued currency, and restrictive trade practices. Nobody will buy our deluxe crawlers. More and more people will be out of work, laid off. Nobody will be able to afford the finer things in life. No more haagen -Dazs. They'll have nothing but time on their hands. And you know where unemployed people with no money go? Donut, Donut shops. shops. <laughs> I love the recession. Me too.